I scanned every single line from every single sports book on the planet twice. So I know for a fact that every single bet in this video has no chance of losing as of right now. I did the mental simulations and I'm confident in saying that. If you like bets that have no chance of losing when they're placed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Turn the notifications on too. You don't want to miss this stuff. Anyways, I have no idea how FanDuel can possibly stay in business offering lines like Daniel Jones, 225 plus passing yards, plus 124. For starters, those guys just gave out $20 million the other day because of the field goal prop they had on Sunday. Whose idea was that? My buddy JD took him for like $300,000 himself. Point is, this bet feels a lot like that. I get that it's Thursday, so it's under night, but I don't see how the Giants run the ball effectively against the 49ers. Only one team in the entire NFL has given up fewer rushing yards to opposing running backs than the San Francisco 49ers this season. I get that they've been playing from ahead pretty much the whole time this season. The thing is, they're 10 and a half point favorites tonight. I'm guessing they play from ahead again. If that happens, Danny Dimes is gonna be forced into throwing situations all night long. That's just how football works. Both Kenny Pickett and Matthew Stafford went over this number against the 49ers in their only two games they played this season. Point is, 225 plus passing yards isn't even a lot. Guys do it all the time. Even if the Giants don't play from behind, Daniel Jones could still get over this number easily. Saquon Barkley's out tonight, so it's hard to believe the Giants think they're just going to trot out Matt Breed and Gary Brightwell and run the ball down the 49ers' throat. That would be ridiculous. One thing we have to do, though, is play this thing at FanDuel. They've got 211.5 passing yards for Jones right now, while every other book on the planet has 215.5 passing yards. Always get the best number available. In a situation like this, the alt numbers, like the ones we're betting, are going to be better at the books with the lower standard line. That just makes sense. For instance, Daniel Jones, 225 plus passing yards, is plus 124 at FanDuel, while DraftKings is showing plus 110. Always get the best number and price. If you could magically go back and replace every bet you made with the best price available at the time you made it, you would be shocked at what that would do for your bottom line. Some of you might even be profitable after doing that. Keep in mind, we're not even talking about changing the bet. We're just changing the price you got the bet. That's wild. The best way I know to get the best price available is using the odds jam screen. It's the greatest screen in the history of screens. We have more markets than any other screen I've ever seen in my life. So you can scan the market in literal seconds. But that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of tools we have at Odds Jam. See for yourself, you can try all these tools for free for two weeks simply by using code SLOP at checkout. There's a link in the description. Click that link, go to the site, don't be dumb. You wouldn't try to build a house without tools, right? So why would you try and build a bankroll without them? That makes sense. Anyways, the other bet I found was hanging around the positive EV tool at Odds Jam. You get that one free for two weeks when you use promo code SLOP, no big deal. Matt Breida, over two and a half receptions, plus 140 at DraftKings. We're kind of galaxy braining this thing a little bit, but we just did the same thing with Jalen Warren Monday night, and that worked out for everybody. Guy caught like 55 passes. The thought behind this one is we already think the Giants are going to play from behind. If that happens, we already said they're going to be throwing all night. Only two teams in the entire NFL have given up more receptions to the running back position this season than the San Francisco 49ers. They're making guys check down. Now, I get that Danny Dimes might just take off running in check down situations, but we only need three receptions here. This guy doesn't have to set a record. The play doesn't even have to work. Breida just needs to catch the ball. Even if it's for a five-yard loss, we don't care. Just catch it. In the only game he started last season, the guy caught like seven passes. He was targeted eight times. I get that it was Davis Webb at quarterback for that game, but still, we don't need seven receptions this time. We only need three. My guess is the Giants get behind and find themselves in passing situations all night long. If that happens, Matt Breed is going to catch at least three balls. But here's the thing. Even if they don't get behind, and they sustain long drives, they're going to get kept going by little check down plays that happen to get them the first down. So either way, we have outs. I don't like saying this, but this could easily be the greatest bet of all time. Now that's going to do it for right now, but I'm going live closer to game time, and we're going to scan the market using the odds jam tools. You'd be shocked at what pops up on those tools closer to game time, so we're going to do it live. Plus, we still have a few DFS slips we got to make, and I'd love to see a number on some of these ancillary pieces of both these offenses. Point is, I'm sure there's more bets to be made. I'll see you then.